For most of us in Utah, gas prices have already effectively hit $5 a gallon. Looking at where you live on this map, if your county is a shade of blue, you pay less than $4.99 a gallon. If it's white or red, you're paying $4.99 or more. We know Russia's invasion of Ukraine cut supply to countries supporting Ukraine, and we know the pandemic led to decreased production of gas and supply chain problems. But are there other forces at work that aren't purely about supply and demand? The answer is yes, and here's a big one. First fact, oil companies are making a lot of money. In this year's first quarter, Exxon reported $5.48 billion in profit, and that includes the loss of its Russian operations. Chevron made $6.26 billion in profit. Second fact, oil companies have produced less than capacity on purpose. The U.S. Energy Information Administration shows U.S. companies produce 98,000 fewer barrels per day in this year's March compared to March of 2021. So the big question, flush with cash, with the resources to expand production, why not do it? Well, the third fact, oil CEOs don't answer to customers as much as they answer to investors. The 132 oil executives surveyed every quarter by the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas answered what is the primary reason they're restraining growth despite high oil prices. 59% said it was pressure from investors to maintain capital discipline. So you saw that 59% said it was pressure from investors and that's why they're not doing it. 6% of the executives said government regulations kept them from ramping up production and capacity. The Energy Information Administration is forecasting the U.S. will increase production by the end of the year.